Welcome back to Big Nick's Meats and Treats. Today we're going to do something special on the new Myron Mix and Bark 2400. I'm going to do beef short ribs, beef short plate, whatever you want to call it. These are the great big huge beefy dino bones. We're going to put these on the Myron Mixin. Let's get this package open and get at it. The first thing that we're going to need to do on these short ribs is we're going to have to trim them up. We're going to want to get all of this uh, fat and the silver skin off the top and get down to the meat. Uh, on the back of these ribs, they have a real thick, heavy membrane. Now, unlike pork spare ribs where you try to take that membrane off, you don't want to take this membrane off because that's what's going to hold the ribs together for you. So don't take that membrane off. And as far as the top goes, I'm using a real thin bladed flexible knife and I'm just going to get under that and just slowly work on this and get all that silver skin off and don't take any meat off. You want to this these ribs are not cheap, so you don't want to waste any meat. All right, I think uh, this is a three bone pack. It weighed about five pounds and it was 42 bucks. Uh, I got these at Costco. They only usually have them around holidays. So that's when I, I like to get them. But you want to make sure you get all that silver skin off uh, so the smoke can get down into the meat and the seasonings get down in the meat. If you don't get that silver skin off, the meat or the uh, smoke and seasonings won't get down in there. This is my absolute favorite cut of meat for barbecue. I mean, I just absolutely love these beef uh, short ribs. And you can see there's just fantastic marbling all the way through. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and get them all trimmed up. And we'll get back to you when we do the seasoning. See you in a bit. All right, we got it all trimmed up. I got all that silver skin off. You can see I'm down to the meat there in this corner here. I didn't take this off because I'm afraid if I cut down into that fat too much that it's just going to shrink up too much when I'm cooking it. So I didn't uh, take that off, but the rest of it, I got all the silver skin off. And now I'm just going to put a light coat of vegetable oil on here. It doesn't put any uh, flavor on. And it's just going to give something for the salt and pepper to stick to. And that's I'm just going to go Texas style. Today I'm just going to do salt and pepper. And I'm going to flip it over and put olive oil on the back also. And that'll help dry out that uh, membrane on the back when it's cooking. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do is just kosher salt. It's a five pound piece of meat, so don't be afraid to put some seasoning on there. Don't use table salt for these uh, high quality meats. Make sure you're using kosher salt, okay? Make sure you get the edges. And there's some really nice marbling on these. I hope they uh, come out as good as they look. They, uh, they look really good. Get the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper the back even though I'm not gonna eat that membrane. And then now I'm using uh, 16 mesh coarse ground black pepper. Make sure you get the edges. And I'm doing this about 12 hours before I'm gonna put it on the smoker because I want uh, the salt and pepper to work its way down into the meat and get good flavor in the meat and for the salt to bring those proteins up. So you want to make sure you do it ahead of time. If you just do it right when you're getting ready to cook it, it doesn't get a chance to work down into the meat. All right, now I'm just going to cover this with saran wrap and then I'll put it back in the fridge until tomorrow morning. We're probably gonna put it on the smoker at about 7 a.m. because they take about 10 hours to cook. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We're ready to put these ribs on the smoker. It's bright and early because these things are gonna take about 10 hours to cook. I have the smoker warmed up to 250 degrees. I'm using a blend of pecan and gourmet blend today from Bear Mountain Pellets. And go ahead and put these uh, ribs on. I have a half of a hotel pan in there with some water on it just to add a little bit of a moisture and that'll help keep the drippings from the uh, 
the ribs. So I'm gonna leave those in there now for three hours, not even gonna look at them for three hours. So we'll see you then. The ribs have been on the smoker for four hours now at 250 degrees, really good color, quite a bit of pullback. And like I suspected, there's quite a bit of shrinkage there on the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them now. I'm just using peach butcher paper and I wanna wrap them real tight. And then I'm gonna put them back on the smoker now, still to it, 250 degrees until they're probe tender. And that's generally between 200 and 210 degrees. It's more about the feel probe tender than it is the temperature. So it's gonna be several more hours. We'll see in a bit. All right, our ribs have been on now for about 10 and a half hours at 250. I'm gonna check them for probe tenderness and see how they're doing. Ooh, nice and tender. Going in super easy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the oven, with the oven off, and I'm gonna let them set for about an hour before we cut into them. I'll see you in an hour. It's been over 11 hours since I put these ribs on the smoker this morning, and I'm ready to unwrap them and cut into them. Let's take a look. Ooh. Oh yeah. As I suspected, they shrunk up quite a bit. That's pretty normal. Let's uh, slice into one of these and see how it looks. Oh boy, I'm squirting myself. Look how juicy that is. And look at that smoke ring. You know, there's a lot of naysayers out there that you can't get a smoke ring on a pellet grill. I beg to differ. I mean, look at that. That looks amazing how juicy that is. Cut this off the bone here. Oh, it looks like it just falls off the bone. Nice. Just cut a little piece off here. Take a bite. Get some meat. Oh. Yeah, it's just pull apart tender. Look how pull apart tender that is. Nice. Mmm, perfect salt and pepper. You can really taste the smoke. It's so good. The bark is nice and crusty. Really, really good. I'm super happy with how these came out. This is the first long smoke I've done on the Myron Mixon Bark 2400. 10 and a half hours is a long time. I love these beef short ribs. It's one of my favorite bites in barbecue. I hope you guys give it a try. And I want to give you a big thank you for getting us over a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I really appreciate it. We're going to be doing a whole bunch more videos soon. Give us a like and a subscribe if you already haven't. And until we see you next time, watch me work, baby. Watch me work.